Hello, we are the Wet Secrets, and you are watching Ambi. Hey everyone, it's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with the Wet Secrets. Hello. 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 How is everybody doing today? Great. Pretty good. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm yeah. glad to hear it. Just welcome to Ambi, and thanks for chatting with us. Thanks for having us, yeah. It's my pleasure. So you're now in Toronto for CMW. Can I take us through your last 24 hours? What have you been up to? Uh, well, we were actually in the States coming, uh, coming across the border. Trevor, who is a filmmaker, flew, had the luxury of flying because he had a, uh, a film retrospective. So the rest of us drove and we had a glorious uh, reunion in the hotel lobby. And, then, <laughs> and here we are in Toronto. <laughs> have these first couple of shows been treating you? Oh, they've been great, yeah. Um, Winnipeg was terrific. We played this new cool club there called Goodwill. And uh, Chicago was awesome. We played G-Man Tavern, and right after we played, they showed a short film that the drag community had come together to make, and then all of the drag queens were like, come downstairs, and we went downstairs, and it was a giant Chicago drag club. So that was really super fun. And then I saw you played pinball. I think it was yesterday you came across a bunch of machines. That and looked like a lot of fun. We did uh, Day Trotter in, uh, in uh, Davenport, Davenport I Iowa. I love Day Trotter. And there's a pinball bar there, yeah. The Very ladies, cool. ladies kind of killed it. Analog. Analog, it's called, in Davenport, yeah. Nice. So when you aren't performing on tour, what do you like doing when you have that rare occasional downtime, aside from playing pinball? I will sleep, so I don't know what the others are, do. <laughs> uh, I'm obsessed with cameras. Paul is obsessed with waxing his chest. <laughs> and Kristen, um, I don't know what he does. He's a sort of the mystery man. I think you guys have no idea. No, yep. we have He's no idea. Selling meth on Kijiji or something. <laughs> I don't know. Well, when it comes to packing for a tour, what are items you know are going to be essential, you know you're going to have to have down the road? Ascots. I bring a fresh supply of ascots everywhere we go. Lyle brings like lots of cameras. I have way too many cameras. I, I think I kind of annoy these guys sometimes by forcing them, uh, forcing them into compromising situations so that we can uh, take photos. Um, we actually, we, I, due to my insistence, we got infested with ticks last oh. year. So, um, yeah, this is a. Uh, yeah. My hobby and everyone else's. Uh, Go stand in that field of ticks. I'm going to take a picture. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's, that's as much on us. We were like, okay. <laughs> and then we were driving down the road, and we realized on the highway that we were covered in ticks. So we stopped the van and stripped screaming yeah. by the side of the busy highway. That was, some people got the full show. I was going to say, I can imagine day. just driving down and seeing that. That would be quite the sight. Yeah. Yeah, somebody, somebody really got the eyeful. <laughs> you kicked the year off by releasing your new EP, I Can Live Forever. So what was one of your favorite moments that happened when you were in the studio kind of working on this thing together? Uh, when we hit send <laughs> and got the tracks all finished, that was a glorious moment. Victorious. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, we've had an amazing last year and a half. Um, I don't know. They keep, we keep... Uh, Get having new plateaus, so yeah. We'll see what uh, 2016 has in store. Well, no more ticks. No more ticks. <laughs> we did get to make a video for I Can Swing a Hammer. It's just about to bring that we up. We shot it at uh, this really do-it-yourself festival our friends put on in northern Alberta called Golden West Music Fest. And uh, we were playing there, so we decided to just guerrilla style a music video and um, came together nicely for Hammer, so that was, that was a good moment. I wouldn't have thought that was a spur of the moment video because it looks so thought out. Oh, good. If you haven't seen it yet, it's pretty much you go into this secret looking tent and there's like a whole other world in there and the whole video is just people you know, flipping their hair around. How'd you come up with that? Lyle built the hut. He was going to build it anyway and burn it down and it was, so we thought, well, we should have cameras there and shoot it. And, and you then got to shoot? Did you shoot part of it? We were just or? improvising. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we're not... Um, the, the sort of gross, hairy, older guys in the band aren't in the video very much, which is fine by me. But uh, I did build that that hat. It's actually a marching band hat uh, that we built in the backyard. So it's a 25-foot version of one of these marching band hats that we did then did burn. 
So. And Jared Rabb is a, is a cinematographer from Toronto, and we flew him out uh, to come to the bush party with us, and then we just walked around and improvised and caught on to that head hair-swinging business, and then, uh, hey, it looks cool and slow, and hey, it looks cool backwards, you know, <laughs> it was like that. No, it looked great in the end. Thanks. No problem. So Free Candy, your last record release came out two years ago. What is next on the recording front? The EP is out now, I Can Live Forever, and then that leads into the full-length album, The Tyranny of Objects, which is going to come out on six studio records. And is there a date, a tentative date? or? Uh, sometime before we die <laughs> is, is a likely, but There's not totally necessary. Yeah, like, it's totally possible we that. could die before it comes out, I guess. All right. They could go into the files. Hopefully we'll be able to hear it before that happens. Yeah. Yeah. Or it'll be like... I don't want to speak it's, for the label. It's looking like a uh, fall release at this point. So. Okay. And we will go home from Toronto, and we, we just have a couple little things to finish, and then, again, I hit send, and everyone happy again. Everyone like me again. Okay, cool. <laughs> Redemption, finally. <laughs> I just want to do a little <laughs> quick fire with everybody. All right? Okay. A what? A quick fire. So you just answer as quickly as quick you can. Fire. Ah, quick fire. Yeah. Uh, clearly, I'm going to be great at this. <laughs> a what? <laughs> so the last photo you took on your phone. Oh, uh, was a photo of these two guys doing a face swap. Face swap, upside down face swap. Yeah. You did the same. All right. Oh no, I didn't do that. What did I do? I made him take a picture of me with my phone. Uh, happy playing drums at the mod club tonight. Uh, it was also a face swap. Uh, I took a photo of all the coffee that I spilt on Royal Canoe's synthesizer. Woo. <laughs> Don't tell Royal Canoe. <laughs> and how about with the view down there? I, uh, I took a picture of the reflection of my tits in his glasses. I, w I witnessed that. True story. Yeah, yeah that's true. My, my uh, balls. <laughs> <laughs> Reflected in my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and your favorite thing to do outside of music? Um, Outside of music? Yes. Oh, uh, water slides. Uh-huh. Bathe. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Damn it, bubble bath was mine. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, we've already talked about photography. So let's say um, worrying about money. <laughs> um, Pinball. I don't know. Uh, get a lot of fulfillment out of mowing a lawn. <laughs> <laughs> it's a zen pursuit. Uh, all right. And then one thing that you love about your bandmates. Hmm. <laughs> I think this is the least quick fire, quick fire. One thing you love I about love the it. bandmates. The smell. Yeah, the smell is really smell. the prize. Get close. Come Every to the show and, and just cuddle right up. Everyone in our band has sweet, sweet tits. <laughs> <laughs> On and that note, <laughs> unless there was more. No, no, okay, well, I'm about to dig a, a deeper hole. Let's just leave it Let's there. Let's just leave it there. <laughs> On that note, is there anything you want to say to all of your fans who are going to be viewing the interview? Um, to our fans. To your fans. Thank you, Mom, for <laughs> downloading our EP. No, um, yeah, we had an amazing year uh, the last two years, so thanks to everyone that has come to shows. Um, it actually, f we've been doing this a long time, so it fills my heart with a little bit of my, my de cold, dead heart with some uh, pride to, to come to places like Toronto or Winnipeg or Chicago or wherever and see that there are people coming out and dancing, going bananas, full bananas. So hopefully tonight here at the Mod Club, it's no exception. We can go uh, fully apeshit. Boom. Boom. Drop the mic. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I cannot oh, afford to hands. replace it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do one of these. Wet secrets out. <laughs> I just want to say thank you for your time. We do appreciate it. And remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at musicblogia.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more with your favorite bands. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye, Internet. <laughs>